Hi, my name is Naharan Sandra Zaya, and I go to Deeper Bible Life Church for over a year now. I'm in California right now, but I found Deeper Bible Life Church in Chicago, Illinois, and it truly has changed my life. I am so grateful that I found this church because thanks to Deeper Bible Life Church and WF Kamai, I found Jesus Christ. I moved to, back to San Diego, California last year, and even though we don't have a church location here, I still try my best to stay strong in my faith with Christ, and I attend all the global crusades for this entire year, and I'm just so grateful that I never gave up on Christ, and even when times were hard and there was trials to battle, to battle and overcome, I still kept my faith strong, and I'm just so grateful for a deeper Bible life church and for Jesus Christ for never giving up on me. Amen. Now, that's just one of the ways that the crusade was able to reach someone, regardless of distance, and there are countless more. Now, most of us probably can't even find the town of Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin on the map. But as the Bible commands us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, the Global Crusade was able to reach one of these small towns and is still touching lives. Here's the conversation we had with Brother Mike. Good evening, dear friends. It's been one year of the Global Crusade with our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumi, and we've heard countless stories of how lives have been touched in every corner of the globe. And with me here this evening, I have the distinct pleasure of meeting with my friend, uh, Brother Michael Buckner. Brother Michael, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. So we've heard testimonies from all corners of the world about how the Global Crusades have been touching lives in different ways, testimonies and, uh, you know, breakthroughs and spiritual growth. And I just wanted to get your perspective. I've heard that uh, you've met our Father and Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumi. Can you please share what that experience was like with us? Yes, my pleasure. Uh, in 2013, I traveled to Africa and I met uh, Pastor William F. Kumi. One of the things that immediately got my attention in meeting him as a servant of the Lord is his humility, his love for people, his passion for bringing forth the gospel. Mm -hmm. It has impacted me in several ways. After leaving there and having that experience and meeting the general superintendent, one of the things I do as, as a military veteran, I serve as a mentor for the Lake County court system, mentoring veterans who are coming out of prison I also visit nursing homes throughout Chicago to provide literature and share the gospel with them. In addition to that, I also, with my own personal vehicle, I have a sign on my vehicle that says Bible study on wheels. Oh, wow. Because I'm passionate, just like the general superintendent has shared with everyone he's come into contact with, go forth and bring this message. And I took that literally. And to me, that's doing the work of the kingdom because we have to be proactive in bringing this message forward. That is uh, quite a testimony you have there. And um, I see that you have a very worn book here. Can you tell me about what that, uh, that book represents to you? Sir? Yes, my pleasure. This is the book that we were given when I traveled to Nigeria in 2013. Wow. It is the uh, Leadership Conference book. It is impactful. It has a lot of resourceful information. And during that conference, um, the central theme of that conference was to train people to bring forth the message, crossing all boundaries globally, culturally, and bring this message forth because it is real. It is real. And it is something that everyone needs, irregardless of racial background, cultural, whatever it may be. This word is important. A word that I'm hearing you say echoed is, is the realness of the gospel. Yes. And uh, we, like I've talked about a little bit, well, we're hearing just how real the gospel has been going through the global crusades and touching lives all over the globe. Can you tell us personally how this last year has touched you, Brother Michael? Yes, this last year of the global crusade has touched me in a way that has made me become very proactive in doing everything I can do humanly to bring this message. That includes simple interactions with people that I meet on the street. It includes inviting people to my home to do Bible study. Wow. It means going out within various communities and just sharing the gospel message. But one thing I believe that's very significant in any person that says they're Christian, 
people should be able to see the love for other people within you. That should be the hallmark of every Christian. People can see that within you. That's what's going to make the difference. Thank you so much for that, for sharing your own personal sure. experiences with us. Sure. And um, you've talked about the love and the purposefulness in reaching the, the, the people, all nations for the love of Christ. Now, can you tell us how you personally think that as we have had this very wonderful year of the Global Crusade, sure. where we're taking the next step, how you personally think the Word of God can reach even more people as we go forward? Yes, I think whatever that platform is going to be, it needs to cross racial lines. That means, in my opinion, I think, going digital, sharing this information globally. My first option would be to recommend people should go to youtube.com, log into dclm.org. That message is preached and messages are preached throughout this global Christian under the inspired leadership of Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, that I am excited and thrilled to see exactly what the Lord has in store for us in the future of the GCK. So then let's ask the question, what does the future hold for the global crusades? In Europe, our church leaders are ramping up efforts to get the message of the healing and life restoring message of the gospel crusade into more and more homes. When these conversations are completed, a potential 11.5 million homes in the UK and 45 million homes in Europe will be reached with this message through Faith Word TV and Premier Radio. Please pray that God will open up these gospel doors. And in America, there's an effort in progress to capture the essence of the global crusades into books and podcasts and audiobooks that will be distributed across multiple digital platforms, such as Kindles and Nooks and e-readers and iTunes, to reach unchurched people that need Christ, thirsty saints that are longing for spiritual growth, and even seasoned ministers that want to replicate the success that Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi has had during the course of his over 40 years of fruitful and life-changing ministry. In Asia, churches in the UAE, Pakistan, India, China are constantly searching for innovative ways to bring the message of the gospel in the native tongues of a combined population that exceeds more than 2 billion people through an army of interpreters. In Africa, hundreds of thousands of people will be gathered in the Alpha location and in other regions as God's choice servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi carries the message of saving grace, sanctifying love, and supernatural signs across the continent to the world. This is the future of the GCK. The whole gospel, the whole world, by the whole church. I ask you to please spread the word as the journey has just begun.